guys, it's Mary, and I'm back today with a special layout for National Scrapbooking Day weekend. And we have teamed up with Spiegel Mom Scraps and Wild Whispers to bring you some fun challenges for National Scrapbooking Day um, or International Scrapbooking Day. So here's a container of all of the mixed media punches that I made. And if you're wondering, Mary, why didn't you show me this process? It's because I did. It's over on the Spiegel Mom Scraps YouTube channel. So take a second, go over and check it out. Pause this video if you want to, or you can watch it and then go back and see how I did the mixed media. And my challenge for this weekend is called punch your shimmers out until you can't sequins no more. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be using the We Are Memory Keepers Wildflower collection. I'm just using this beautiful navy blue and white um, floral background. That'll be my background paper. I'm going to add in just one sticker from the Chamel sheet <clears throat> and the um, die cuts on the left that you see, all of the really pretty birds, those are a free cut file off of the Wild Whisper website. So if you guys love this cut file, which I think it's gorgeous, you'll see me use it again. I have a couple more ideas that I want to use with the birds. Go over and check them out. They also put in a free new cut file for us to use for our challenges this month. So um, here we go. I am going to gesso this page and you're going to see me do a stripe down the middle with gesso like a wide stripe and then I decided that I still wanted um, I still wanted it a little bit more faded out now I love the background but with all of the mixed media that I did and then the birds it just really blended in so I found that I really needed to gesso the whole thing so you'll see me do this and then you'll see me go back. So I wanted to white it out just a little bit more. So I grabbed some of the Shimmers Acritones white. It's called Three Sheets to the Wind. I will link all of the products down below. And this weekend, if you use the code 25NSD17, and I'll put a picture at the end, then you can save 25% off from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store, which is more than what you normally get from me. I normally only am able to give you 15%, but this weekend, it's 25% off of your whole order. So check out the link down below and go shop some of these new beautiful summer sequins and shimmers products. So here I am, I'm placing all of my punched out triangles down on the paper. Now I'm gonna edit this a lot and I actually don't use a, a whole bunch of the mixed media that I created. Um, so I have enough left over to supply a small village. <laughs> which is okay because they'll, they'll get used in some way. So after placing it all down and even um, editing out how much I put on, I realized, you know, I really need to gesso the whole thing. So you'll see that central big wide stripe come back in a different way in a few minutes. So I'm just adding on more gesso. I didn't uh, feel the need that the shimmers, acritones, I, I didn't feel like I needed more of that on there. So here is how I bring that wide stripe back. And I use a light pinky peach colored piece of vellum from my stash. I think it's a Recollections brand. And I just kind of paper clipped it down to hold it steady while I threw it through the sewing machine. And if you've been following for a while, this is my Rosie Marie sewing machine. She's a beauty. I love her so much. She's a baby Janome. And I can also link down below where to find that on Amazon. They come in a lot of different beautiful colors and they're like 50 bucks. So if you don't want to scuff up your big sewing machine with um, a bunch of gunk, then I would suggest definitely trying out that mini sewing machine and it's super lightweight. So this is a piece of I don't know what it what exact kind of fabric fabric it is. It's like the kind of fabric that you would use on your windows as a sheer stiff fabric. It reminds me of the IKEA panel curtains. Um, and it has a little bit of a floral pattern, a white floral pattern on it. It's a real subtle fabric and I have a whole bolt of it. So I'm probably gonna use a lot of it until I get sick of using it. I love it. 
And then I'm debating here if I should use this Maggie Holmes uh, gather. No. Uh, oh, my heart. <clears throat> the, the new Maggie Holmes line. And I ended up chasing dreams. That's what it is. <laughs> the new Maggie Holmes chasing dreams uh, paper. And I end up using it. And I think that it, that blue and the smaller floral just goes great with the background. And I'm not worried about the vellum buckling up in the center because you'll see later on that I sew down my little triangles. So I'm just kind of straightening out the gesso. If you guys you have worked with mixed media at all, you know that it does, um, you know, warp your paper a little bit. I'm fine with that. I think it flattens out over time in your scrapbooks and I'm not too concerned about it at all. Um, one of the ways that I've combated a lot of warping, like if I have mixed media in the middle, is I add another piece of cardstock to the back of it and tape it down really, really good, and that helps straighten it, stiffen it, and straighten it out as well. So I finally figured out my placement for all of my triangles. Now these triangles have been used with Shimmers products. I'll link down below which Shimmers products I used. I used a lot of the paste uh, pasties, and I put it on really thick, and I smushed sequins down into the pasties, and I also did some other mixed media stuff. So really go check out that other video if you want to see how I did it. So here I'm bringing out Rosie Marie again, and we're going to sew down the triangles. I did pop up some on foam dots or foam tape to give it some more dimension. And I'm just sewing a straight line across the top of almost all of the triangles that were not on foam tape. So here we go. I'll give you a little close up here. Now the sequins that I used are from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop and I used uh, three different combinations. I used some from the Hey Kiddo. There's two different blues that I used from that, that sequins mix. Then I used one green one from the Jaded Hearts sequins mix. And I used uh, the navy color, the smaller navy colored ones from the uh, Be True to You sequins mix. And I love those colors. So here are those Wild Whisper die cuts that I just cut out on my Silhouette machine. And I put them to about an inch and a half. Uh, the small ones might be an inch. And here's the one sticker that I'm going to use from the new Chamel line. It's just a feather because it went with the birds. <laughs> and I'm gonna debate on where exactly I want to put it. I didn't wanna add too much embellishing to this because I felt like the birds and the triangles were definitely enough. I feel like I already embellished it, if that makes any sense. So I add the feather and I add a chipboard piece and then I add another DIY embellishment that I did from a frame from the Chasing Dreams collection. But you're gonna see me go hmm and ha huh, over this for a little bit. I'm gonna poke things, move things around. <laughs> it is so exciting right now. I decided I didn't like the feather on that side so I'm gonna put it back to the other side. Yeah, so if you're playing along in National Scrapbooking Day weekend, International Scrapbooking Day, I would love to hear from you. Hashtag, um, use the hashtags WWINSD17 for Wild Whisper or SMSNSD17 for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I'll be able to see what you guys are creating if you're playing along with these challenges. So this is how I currently keep my stamps. Uh, these are the little um, alphabet stamps that you can get from like the Michael's Dollar Spot or the Hobby Lobby. They come in a set and they're a dollar or a dollar fifty. I took them off of the blocks because they ended up falling off anyway. And I put some Tombow Mono uh, repositionable glue on him and they stick down just like an acrylic or a clear stamp wood on an acrylic block 
and it's a lot easier for me to find all of the letters and put them all together. So that's just what I do. <clears throat> I am going to be changing up how I store my stamps here though in a little bit. So I'm giving that feather a little bit of dimension and here is the embellishment that I made. I used some of that pink vellum in the back. I backed it onto the this really cute gold chipboard frame and I love that quote. And this is just a picture of my kiddos being uh, loving on each other and that quote was perfect. Without love, we are birds with broken wings. And it's so true. So I edit out as well the amount of die cuts that I'm going to be using from the Wild Whisper cut file because it started to get lost um, in the center. So I just put three on this right side and then I'll put three up at the top on the left side. I also wanted to take a second and let you know that Laura Horn on Instagram, I'll link her below. She is the inspiration for the mixed media in this layout and also the triangles. So go check her Instagram out as well. And I'll also add in a piece of chipboard from the Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams. It's um, a really, really pretty gold sparrow. This love chipboard came from a chipboard sticker sheet that I have for my stash. I think it was an American Crafts one. Um, maybe came from a Maggie Holmes collection. It's called Celebrate. So here is that sparrow, that gold sparrow that, that I'm placing up in the top left corner. I think it go, just goes perfectly with those Wild Whisper sparrow cut files. And those are so pretty. I did them on a navy cardstock. And it just makes them look like they're silhouettes up in the sky. I just, I love how they turned out. So these are hearts from the Oasis um, Puffy Alpha set. <laughs> I need to get my terminology down. Puffy Phrase Stickers. Okay, so here I'm going to use some vibes. I'm going to use the vibes in Before Dawn. So this is the shimmery vibes. It's got a little bit of gold shimmer in it. She also has, Jody also has in her shop some matte black if you're looking for a good matte black. Um, I haven't tried that one out yet, but I think that I'm probably going to end up getting it because sometimes you want shimmer and sometimes you don't. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit up here on the top left corner, and then I did some on the bottom right corner. It just draws your eye a little bit more. Now, because I gessoed this beforehand, the, the dots or the sprinkles are not going to look perfectly round, and I'm okay with that because this looks like a really artsy kind of a background and definitely not perfect so but it it all kind of goes it goes together and so I really like how it turned out so I'm sopping them up a little bit here and that's the end of my layout so don't forget to stop by the Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop you get 25% off all your orders this weekend when you use this code and she will ship everything to you on Monday Make sure to hashtag Wild Whisper and Spiegel Mom Scrap if you play along in the challenges. I'd love to see them. So Wild Whisper's hashtag is WWINSD17. Spiegel Mom Scraps is SMSNSD17. And also go check out the Spiegel Mom Scraps YouTube channel for the mixed media process to this. I really am having a lot of fun. So uh, I hope that you guys are playing along with our National Scrapbooking Day challenges. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Love to hear from you. Bye, guys.